Hi, dear Solis. So let's uh, begin EFT for self-love, right? So close your eyes and take a nice deep breath in. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Just integrate yourself in that space of your beautiful breath into the island of your wonderful divine space of your body. And let's get started. Even though I don't love myself, but I think I love myself and I'm confused, I'm willing to love and accept myself. Even though there are times when I really reject myself, especially when I don't have money in my bank, I'm feeling poor or I'm in the space of a negative emotions. I'm still willing to love and accept myself. Even though I am the only one who rejects me and I have no grip over the concept of self-love because I can't see the God inside me, I'm willing to love and accept myself. I know I came here into life to love myself, but I've pinched myself away from divinity and I constantly am judging about myself. I feel fear. I love, I allow all the negative energies and negative emotions to overpower my being. I know I have a sacred space of God inside me. I know there is divinity inside me. I'm training myself to get there, but I can only love myself when I'm a good person. Every time a negative emotion shows up, I end up judging myself. I end up allowing the dark shadows to overpower me. I'm really done. I'm always emitting a vibration of self-judgment and then people end up rejecting me and I, I feel it's them who's rejecting me. But what I'm not realizing is it is my vibrations of self-rejection that is creating the rejection. I'm willing to love myself. I know I don't love myself. And how can anybody love me till the time I don't love myself? It is not their job to love and accept me. It is my job to love and accept myself. I know I'm this physical reality trying to align all of my vibrations to a life of great abundance. But the self-love just doesn't come. I'm constantly fearful. I'm fearful about my future. I'm sure these are past programs and I picked it up in my childhood. And I'm not even aware that there's a program that's driving my life. I make conscious choices to go on a diet, reduce my weight and take care of my body. But the moment the subconscious programs take over, everything goes down the drain. I make conscious choices to be committed to my life. I make conscious choices to work on myself, but the programs take over and I'm not even aware of it. But now, since I'm realizing that the only place I can work on in the entire universe is myself, I'm really willing to let go of all of these past programs. I'm willing to be aware of all those self-judgments that I make about myself. There's a part of me that hates me. There's a part of me that really judges me. So there's a constant war between the light and the dark inside me, the angel and the devil. One part of me says I must love and accept myself, but the other part of me pulls me down. And now with all the new uh, knowledge that I'm acquiring, I realize energy flows where focus goes. So I'm really willing to focus on the positive aspects of me and ignore the negative aspects. I know when I ignore the, all of my negative aspects, which I have, soon they will lose all the energy and die away because if you don't use it, you lose it. And that's how my, my brain can be reprogrammed to a new way. I'm really willing to love myself. I don't care if anybody loves me. It is my job to love and accept myself. I don't want to be an emotional beggar anymore. I'm done with begging for love. Literally, I feel like I'm this beggar who takes a bowl in his or her hand and I'm just constantly waiting for people to approve of me, love and accept me. Not anymore. It is my life and it is my job to love and accept myself. And I realize that if I don't write, rewrite the story of my life, who is going to? I am the only person who thinks in my mind. So it is my job to really love myself because when I take a deep breath and I love myself, I emit a vibration of love and love comes back to me so beautifully. 
I'm willing to look at the divinity in me. I'm willing to treat myself as God and treat everybody as a, else as God. I really love myself. I really love and accept myself even in the moments when I'm negative. I embrace myself when I'm in the down times of my life. My life is beautiful. I'm willing to create it. And I'm really committed to myself. That was then. And this is now. And this is a new time. And today I realize that if I don't love myself, who else is going to love me? So I'm willing to let go of all the fear, the anger and the pain that I've been carrying from lifetimes of program conditioning and my childhood conditioning. And no matter what happened to me, this is a new time. I'm willing to love and accept myself. And I can only do that by letting go of all the anger, the hatred, the fear and the jealousy. Just take a deep breath. I let go of the fear. Just let it go. Breathe it out. I let go of all the self-judgment. I'm willing to love and accept myself. I'm willing to let go of all of those negative emotions. Take a few deep breaths and let it go. Mm. 